In this video, I'm going to talk about an elliptic curve Elgamal crypto system. But before I do that, I want to talk about a few things regarding elliptic curve systems in general. One, the advantage of using an elliptic curve system is that you can use smaller numbers. It's estimated that um, in a certain case where you would have had to have used a 4096 bit key uh, for a classic crypto system, you can use um, a system that is only, or a key that is only 313 bits when you use the elliptic curve method. So that's a huge reduction which can um, change the type of hardware you have to use to do these types of computation. Two, um, an elliptic curve is defined as this basically, y squared equals the x cubed plus a x squared plus b x plus c. Uh, where A, B, and C depend on the type of crypto system. Um, sometimes it's reals or integers or whatever it is. It, it depends on the exact system you're using. And three, they are not ellipses. The name comes from the elliptic integral stuff. Um, to see a video on how Elgamal normally works in a non-elliptic curve system, um, see the link in the description. But in this case, um, I am going to be doing the elliptic curve system. So as usual, Alice is sending Bob a message. What Bob does is he chooses an elliptic curve E mod P, where P is a large prime. He also chooses point alpha, which is on the elliptic curve E. And then he chooses a secret A and computes beta, where beta is equal to alpha times A. Now, the alpha and the beta are both public. The A is not. Now, Alice, when Alice wants to go and send Bob a message after Bob has set up this system, what she does is she chooses a random k, that's an integer, and she computes these two things. She computes y1, where it's k times alpha, because remember alpha is a um, public number, and y2, where it equals x plus k, um, excuse me, x plus k times beta, where this x right here is the message. And then she used um, the alpha and beta that she got from Bob. And then she sends the y1 and y2 to Bob. So now Bob has received the message, which is y1 comma y2, and now he has to decrypt to get the original message that Alice sent him. He does this using this formula right here, where x is the message from Alice, and it equals y2 minus a, remember that's his secret key, um, times y1. And once Bob has done this um, computation here, he will have the original message from Alice. To recap, Bob sets up a system with both public and private um, numbers, and then Alice uses the public numbers of Bob's to send Bob a message. And then after Alice sends Bob the message right here, Bob uses his private numbers, the A, to get the message that Alice was trying to send him. 